Elon? Uh, thanks, Martin. So <clears throat> just to recap, uh, 2021, uh, it was a breakthrough year for Tesla and for electric vehicles in general. And while we battled, uh, and everyone did, uh, with supply chain challenges through the year, we managed to grow our volumes by nearly 90% last year. This level of growth didn't happen by coincidence. It was a result of ingenuity and hard work across multiple teams throughout the company. Uh, additionally, we reached the highest operating margin in the industry uh, in the last uh, widely reported quarter at over 14% gap operating margin. Uh, lastly, thanks to five and a half million, five and a half billion dollars of million, <laughs> small finger by the mouth, um, uh, five and a half billion dollars of gap net, net income in 2021, our accumulated profitability since the inception of the company became positive, which I think makes us a real company at this point. Uh, this is a critical milestone for the company. So after an exceptional year, we shift our focus to the future, um, Texas and Berlin. So we've, we've begun production at both Texas and Berlin. We started that uh, last quarter, uh, but that, that's not the most important thing. Um, we, we focus more on when to get to, to volume production um, and when can we deliver cars to customers. Um, but, but I think it is worth noting that we, uh, and, and as the internet has observed, <laughs> Uh, we have, we have, we've been ma making quite a few cars in Texas and Berlin. So, uh, in Boston and Berlin. So, uh, in, in Texas, we're building the Model Ys with the structural battery pack and the 4680 cells. And we will start delivering uh, after final certification of the vehicle, which should be fairly soon. Capacity expansion will continue. We are maximizing output of each factory uh, and building new factories and new locations in the future. Um, although we, we're not ready to announce any new locations on this call, but but we will, uh, uh, through 2022, look at new locations and probably be able to announce new locations uh, towards the end of this year, I expect. Um, so, so in 2022, supply chain will continue to be the fundamental limiter of output across all factories. Um, so the, uh, the chip shortage, while better than last year, is still, still a, an issue. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's uh, th th there are there are multiple supply chain challenges. <laughs> um, and um, last year was difficult to predict, and hopefully this year will be smooth sailing. But it, it, you know, I'm not sure what you do for an encore to 2021, 2020. Um, but nonetheless, we 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 do expect uh, significant growth in 2022 over 2021, um, you know, comfortably above 50% growth in, in 2022. Uh, full self-driving. So over time, we think full self-driving will become the most important source of profitability for Tesla. Uh, it's, um, I mean, actually, if, if you run the numbers on robo-taxis, uh, it's, it's kind of nutty. Uh, the, it's it's nutty good for, for, from a financial standpoint, um, and I think we are completely confident at this point that it will be achieved. Um, and uh, you know, my my personal guess is that we will achieve full self driving this year. Um, yeah, with with at a safety level significantly greater than than a person. So. Um, it, it, you know, the, the, the cars in the fleet essentially becoming self-driving by a software update, I think might might end up being the the biggest uh, increase in asset value of, of any asset class in history. Um, we shall see. Uh, it, will, it will also have, if we're found, impact on improving safety and on accelerating uh, the world towards sustainable energy through vastly better asset utilization. Let's see, so on the product roadmap front, there's, there's quite a lot to talk about. Um, I'm not gonna go through every sort of thing that we're working on because I think a lot of them deserve uh, product launches of their own, uh, as opposed to uh, a few minutes on an earnings call. Um, so I'll talk kind of at a high level. Uh, yeah, mostly at a high level. Um, 
the, the fundamental focus of Tesla this year is scaling output. Uh, so, um, you know, both last year and this year, if we were to introduce new vehicles, um, our total vehicle output would decrease. This is a very important point that I think people do not, a lot of people do not understand. Um, so last year, we spent a lot of engineering and management resources uh, solving supply chain issues, uh, rewriting code, changing out chips, reducing the number of chips we need. That was chip, chip drama central. Um, and there were not the, that was not the only supply chain issue. So there was just hundreds of, of, of things. Um, and as a result, we were able to grow almost 90% while uh, I believe almost every other manufacturer contracted last year. So that, that, that's a good result. Um, uh, but but we, if, if we had introduced, say, a new car last year, um, we would a total vehicle output was, would have been the same because of the constraints, uh, the chips constraints particularly. So if, if we'd actually introduced an additional product, uh, that, would, it, that would then uh, require a bunch of attention and resources uh, on that increased complexity of, of the additional product, resulting in fewer vehicles actually being delivered. And the same is true of this year. So, so we will not be uh, introducing new vehicle models uh, this year. It would not make any sense because um, we, we will still be past constrained. We, we will, uh, however, do a lot of engineering and tooling and whatnot to create those vehicles, uh, the Cybertruck, Semi, Roadster, um, uh, Optimus, um, and, um, and be ready to bring those to production, hopefully next year. Um, that, that is most likely. Um, but, it, but like I said, it, it is dependent on, to, are we able to produce more cars or fewer cars? Um, so, um, in, in terms of priority of products, I think the, the I think that actually the most important product development we're doing this year is is actually the Optimus humanoid robot. Um, this I think has the potential to be more significant than the vehicle business over time. Uh, if, you, if you think about the economy, it, it is the foundation of the economy is labor. Capital equipment is distilled labor. Um, so what happens if you don't actually have a, a labor shortage? I'm not sure what econ an economy even means at that point. That's what Optimus is about. So very important. <laughs>